Hi! In this video, we'll be reviewing the famous destinations here in Tagaytay, the Chocolateria, Farmer's Table, and the Nurture Wellness Spa. There will be timestamps in the description box below if you want to focus on a particular place only. So enough introduction, let's get on with the video! I tried going here before on a weekend but it was always so full so today we decided to go on a weekday here in Tagaytay so that there will be less traffic and there's crowd also in the restaurants. So we're now in Chocolateria Tagaytay. And let me show you the inside of the restaurant. There's just a couple of steps that you need to go up to. And this is something to note of if you have a senior citizen or if you have a, a relative or someone with a knee problem or orthopedic problem. And here's the inside of the uh, shop. And you can find this cute... Uh, home decors here and here's the inside of the restaurant it's quite spacious and there's alfresco dining outside there's a view oh ganda ng view i got the chocolate a and the difference with a and e is that a is milkier and E is a richer chocolate. And this costs for 195 pesos. Dapat daw mabilis. Tapos hanggang sa magkaroon ng bubbles. Oh, dapat ganun. It's like cacao. Na mapait. <laughs> Nakaban ko dito. <gasps> ah, hindi. Hindi, hindi siya mapait. Masarap. Masarap nga siya. Yan na! Champorado! Laki naman ng champorado mo siya. <laughs> Chocolate. Uh, chocolate din. Pag medyo malapit na siya, pwede nyo i-mix siya para, para mag-ano. Para mag-ano. Mag mag oh, tapos ito yung milk, milk. no? And let's give this champorado a taste test. Uh, the champorado has a mixture of rice and beans. And the chocolate is very chocolatey. Very similar to the chocolate that was used in the chocolate A. So I think this uses the tablea chocolate also. This actually got the, my nod of approval. And the chocolate is really good. Eating this too. So very chocolatey. <laughs> and I think this will trigger my migraine. Good luck to me. Okay, so now we're on farmer's table. So today is a weekday. So here's what a weekday looks like inside the restaurant. oil, essential oil, oriental dressing, vinegar, souvenir mask, and oh, ang cute nito. I think I want this. 
leaf earrings and we have some beaded jewelry I think this is J nice and I think this is a mask strap holder natural kombucha We have some kits and some snacks, toyo, tinapa. Uh, what's this? Rabinicar. Cosmetic products, I think. Oh no, such a way. Mermaid. Oh, we have some cold frozen goods and ice cream. The overall ambience of the restaurant has lots of greenery in it, so it takes you back to nature. And my advice is to bring an insect repellent because you can never tell since you're with nature, there may be insects. Uh, it's better to be protected. bar <laughs> the music inside the restaurant is also not too loud so this is great for dates as well so I got the hot house crispy cauliflower and broccoli this is 350 pesos Oh, holy flower. Holy flower in a walk. siya konti. Tapos yung butter niya parang parang buffalo wings ko lang. Technically, edible yung dapat ko. Walang lasa yung flower. <laughs> Mahang siya, hindi siya mild. Pero masagap. Parang ano siya eh. Uh, the cauliflower and the broccoli and then butter of um, buffalo wings. So, yung sauce of the uh, cauliflower and sauce of the uh, broccoli as it has the same all of similar taste of the buffalo wings and then you put the blue cheese sauce so parang ganun yung concept niya so this is the pork barbecue oh, looks good may uling pa a for presentation what's the achara with suka.
This is the Up Country GNT costing 295 pesos. This is the gin and tonic. After that delicious meal, now we're heading to the Nurture Wellness Spa. And we have our reservations here at 1 p.m. And uh, we bought our tickets or the packages from Gluck because it's cheaper there. But you can also purchase from their website. You need to call in for reservation for the spa. Uh, even if you bought your ticket or the packages from Gluck. So it does not guarantee you that you will be accommodated on that day. But... Uh, it's better to call for the time slot. So here, uh, this is the place where they do their spa, the hand spa, the facial spa. So there, that's the place where they do it. But we have our massages, so we'll be going to a separate cottage each. Uh, that this is what I like about the nurture wellness spa. There's like a separate cottage per client, and uh, this guarantees the privacy, so I really like it. And let me show you what it looks inside in the individual massage rooms. So there's the bed there, and then there's a private CR, and there are paintings all over the room. Hi, so I just finished the Aruga massage. So I'm still here uh, inside the room. Let me show you what's inside the room. Before receiving your massage, you will get a foot spa here. Combination of tea tree oil and stuff. And um, corn scrub, according to mom. And then you'll have a um, cabinet here where you can put your things. And what's, what I like about this spa room or massage room is there's a CR inside, you know. Just be careful because there's a not one step here para hindi kayo ma, ma, madulas or matapilok. So, you can see there's a private room, uh, comfort room here. And here's what the room looks like. So it's very peaceful here. So after your massage, you'll be given a tea. Well, sorry, I think I lost some footage in my camera. Anyways, my review for the Nurture Wellness Spa Massage, specifically the Aruga Massage, is really, really good. The therapist is nice, friendly, and the ambience of the room itself is very relaxing, very calm. There's uh, aromatherapy, oils na the smell, so it's really, really relaxing. And also, you can get the foot spa before you start. And that's really good. I really like that. And what I like most about the massage is that the therapist is compartmentalizing the massage. So, parang meron siyang focus eh. So, she's focusing on specific body parts at a time. And you can also customize the strength. You can request for the therapist if it is mild, moderate, and hard. So anyways, overall, I really, really like my experience here. And those are my overall thoughts on the three destinations here in Tagaytay. If you like more about these types of content, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye!